How you doing guys, Phantom TCG here and today I'm gonna bring you guys my pure shadow deck profile. It's kind of the same thing that I did back in the days with a deck profile that had a proxy of the new card that already came out. Uh, obviously back in the day I was still testing the deck with that certain card. Obviously uh, with Kobe a lot of other stuff happened. <laughs> I started playing uh, Destiny so I really put put it I didn't play that much really so yeah still there are not many tournaments at my locals and all that stuff so yeah I still play test of the deck same thing as my other two deck profiles that I have been doing uh Madolchez Madolchez actually this deck destroys Madolchez by, by the way uh if they don't have any way to like get rid of the wind uh, obviously wind is still very problematic uh ray raptor uh tiny teeth same shit uh if they don't have access if they don't have access to a card that can get rid of wind uh, that's basically it on shane is kind of a little bit tricky since <laughs> they only have to summon one big monster to get over the wind uh, and that's it uh and dragon links dragon link obviously someone win that that's basically it you don't have i don't know something like infinite impermanence i don't know random other card like i don't know um let's say example uh forbidden droplets obviously there are some very expensive cards obviously but <laughs> wind is not the best shit ever so Anyways, guys, just my deck profiles for reference. I have play tested this deck a lot back in the days, and like now when the official card came out. So yeah, I made some tweaks here and there compared to the last deck profile. So yeah. Anyways, starting with the monster, we have a lot of monsters. So first of all, we're playing three copies of Wendy. Wendy is the one that is when it's sent to the graveyard by a card effect. It gets to special some one shell monster in face down defense position. Uh, and if this card is flipped, obviously you special summon one face up or face down shadow monsters. So we're playing three copies of Sakomata. This is the one that does Polish Burial. And now for the lot of one ups. Playing the one new card, the one genius. This card is good, it's not the best. It can get rid of something very annoying. For example, Winda. So if, my, if I'm playing against a mirror match, I can use Flesh Warrior. Or uh, summon my construct uh, and summoning, sending this and this, or this and something else. And this card just negates the Winda, and you can continue on. You can negate your own Winda, so you can continue on with your combo, uh, in case you don't want to get rid of, their, of your Winda. So it's still active during your opponent's turn. So yeah, uh, one area for the combo. And to be honest, this card right here is effect to banish three cards. is way too good against uh, current decks. For example, Ray Raptor, uh, Time Thief. You can just banish the guys that just revived themselves to uh, for this shit. Uh, against Modolce, you can just banish the cards that are very, very, very problematic. For example, if they activate a card. Uh, they target a uh, Madolcha monster return to the deck. You can use, obviously, uh, try t to like banish them before they actually do it with Hoot Cake or something. So, yeah. And next we have one Headshot, one Dragon, and one Beast. Now, I will explain why I'm playing one Beast and one Headshot. So, uh, I always... Uh, I always get that comment that a lot of people is like, oh, you're dumb, why you don't play two copies of Hedgehog and two copies of Beast? Now, the thing is that Beast, I cannot summon it, by the way. But the only good thing I will get out of Beast is just sending it to the graveyard just to fusion summon a monster. The other thing, I don't want to play m a lot of dark monsters. So I'm playing one, two, uh, one, two, uh, five six dark monsters uh, to summon my Winda so I really don't want to play more than that so I don't want to open multiple of this guy I really want to summon construct to continue on with the combo headshot its only purpose is in case I need a shadow monster that is not dark if I want Wendy that's one of the cards I really want or I have or Sakumata and I have any of the other ones 
Uh, obviously, Foolish Burrow can give me access to this guy right here and just access to any other shovel monster that I want. Uh, so, yeah, and the other good thing is just sending it to the graveyard to have another monster in my hand to summon Wind during my opponent's turn with El Shovel Fusion. So, that's basically it. I hopefully, I clear that doubt out and explain myself very clearly. Uh, but yeah, obviously Beast, the only effect is just draw two cards if you flip it, or just draw one card to send to the graveyard. Obviously the draw one card is super way, is super good, but I really just wanted to do one. Do it, one, so yeah. Next, for the non shallow monster, I'm playing uh, two copies of Riona. I was playing three copies, the reason why I pump it up, uh, like I down it to two copies is that Riona right here basically just gives you access to construct, uh, just two card construct by the way. Uh, so obviously Riona will give you access to Magistus Invocation, so if you have another shallow monster, instant construct so you can start doing the combo from there on. Uh, so this is kind of the only normal summon you really want to be doing. Uh, so yeah, she's pretty good to be honest. She's just light. That's it. Uh, the the thing is that once you already use the effect, you really don't want to draw it. So the second copy is in case some weird shit happens. Uh, if I draw it, obviously it's going to be dead in my hand. So I don't want to play three copies. So I don't open multiple of her in my opening hand. So next, the other card that I will not get rid of in my deck is going to be one Trickstar Corbain. It's very random. I know a lot of people do not play this card, but Trickstar Corbain. I really love her, to be honest. It's just a free monster on the field. Uh, it can be searched, and you can continue on with the combo. Uh, so, yeah, basically that's it. It's a free monster on the field, uh, and it's light. So, yeah. The other monster that mainly use it for uh chattel fusion uh if my opponent has a fusion summon monster uh as the trick uh trick clown uh this is way too good to be honest and that's it i'm not playing the damage juggler or uh, nor the other guy uh just just one that's it uh next we're playing three copies of Ash and three copies of effect Veiler. Now, I will explain why I play three copies of Effect Veiler. First of all, Effect Veiler is not once per turn, so if you have two cards, in, two in your hand, and you manage to stop your opponent. Uh, it's cool. It's cool. It's way too cool. So if you spend the one, you have the other one in your hand. It's cool. It's a light monster, so you can just dish it to summon Construct and continue on with the combo. So yeah, the main purpose is just summoning Construct or trying to set up the same thing that Construct does. Uh, so yeah, Fight Veiler is way too good. Uh, if you play Fusion Recycling Plan, you're going to, if you use Effect Veiler as a Fusion Material, you can just add it to your hand with Fusion Recycling Plant. That's something I used to do back in the day. Uh, it's way too good. Uh, I really like it, but I just wanted to test some other things out. Obviously, Ash Blossom is staple. Why not play it? So yeah. Alright, do, 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 that's it for the monsters. Now, for spell cards, I'm playing obviously the three copies of Shadow Fusion. For unknown reason, I was trying to down this card to one copy. Uh, since if I'm going first, I really want to go first. Uh, I just really. <laughs> Don't want to waste, like, have multiple fusion spells in my hand that won't do anything. Obviously, if you're going second, if you draw this card, it's way too good. So, I'm still debating. It's just a weird, uh, obviously, choice. But as of now, three copies of Shadow Fusion is it's good, to be honest. You can just dish it with the Construct and then return it to your hand. So, you can have it, to your in, have it in your hand during, uh, during the next turn in case something weird happens. Uh, obviously, you're playing three copies of L Shadow Fusion. This card, you really want to end up in this with this card, or you just really want to open this card right here, just to summon Gwenda during your opponent's turn. That's it. You just really want to summon Gwenda during your opponent's turn. That's it. Uh, playing one Magistus Invocation. I was playing three. Bump it up to one. 
I yeah, really don't. I just really don't want to draw multiple fusion spells, to be honest. And I'm playing three copies of Polymerization. I was planning on cutting it to two, but <laughs> you're going second. This card is way too good, to be honest. Uh, you can just steal one of your opponent's monster. Just continue out from there. Uh, I'm playing one emergency teleport to summon your Wendy. Uh, so you have access to. <laughs> you, you don't have to waste your normal summon. And you can just go into your link place. And that's it. Uh, one Tracer Light Stage. This card is way too good uh, to be true. Sad that it's at one. But the thing is that this card just locks your opponent's spells. Obviously, once per turn. Uh, it locks your opponent's spell, so you can do, freely do your stuff if you know what your opponent set in that column <laughs> Or you can just bait some stuff. Hopefully I uh, explain myself well uh, Monster Reborn just an extender uh, You're going through your combo. Obviously you need a monster to link summon uh, Monster Reborn is just there to help you out uh, Then one foolish burial to Ditch whatever the fuck you want, to be honest. And that's it. The card I'm still debating on playing is one terraforming. Obviously, the only target is going to be Trickstar Light Stage. Obviously, it gives me another, uh, like, three ways to access my Corbane. Obviously, this searches for your Light Stage, and Light Stage searches for your Corbane. And you can hard draw your Corbane, so yeah. Uh, the thing is that if you draw this and this, it's kind of a brick kind of you're going to have your terraforming dead in your hand so yeah this card you can get rid of it to be honest if you don't want to play it uh same thing with this you can play something else you can play the full damage juggler and stuff uh and that's it and that's it for the spell cards now for the trap cards i'm playing two infinite impermanence one shadow schism and one rechavel incarnation Chism is way too broken. <laughs> like, this card is way too good. Not gonna lie. I'm playing two in book, two in permanence because I have the space. I can probably get rid of the trap for me to play the other copy of impermanence, so I like, have nine hand traps. But uh, so now eight is kind of okay. But reach shadow it's just for the combo. This card is way too broken. That's it. Uh, summon window your opponent during your opponent's turn. Self-explanatory. Get rid of a dark monster, self-explanatory. Same thing, you can summon a uh, earth monster, you can summon uh, this other monster, holy crap, uh, construct. Man, I mentioned it so much. Uh, summon construct, get rid of a light monster, uh, so on, so on, so on. So, yeah. Shizum, way too broken, to be honest. Now, going for the extra deck, I'm playing three copies of construct. She's kind of the waifu, but the real waifu is going to be Winda. Uh, Construct, for those who don't know, when you summon her, you just send a shallow card from your deck to the graveyard. And the other effect is that when it attacks a special summon monster, destroy it uh, like before damage calculation or before damage step. This card just destroys it, blows it up. Uh, the other thing is that if this card is sent to the graveyard, same thing as Winda, you can recover one spell or track card shadow from your graveyard it's way too good and wind obviously your you and your opponent can only summon especially summon one monster so yeah way too way too broken next i'm playing two all capone <laughs> this card is kind of okay i really like the way that i just summon this target once uh continuous spell or field spell in my opponent's field it's basically vanilla so it doesn't do anything it's just there Thing is taking up space. Uh, the other thing is that when this card is sent to the graveyard, uh, search one shadow card and then discard one card. So basically, you can just search for Hedgehog, discard the Hedgehog, and then search for a card. So kind of just gets gets you another monster, and you have Chism. You already have like all the like just fuel your graveyard. That's it. Uh, next, we're playing one Shekinaga since we're playing the one copy of. Of uh, genius, uh, chicken is okay. It's not the best. She negates a, f a special summon effects monsters uh, by discarding one shadow card. If you have a shadow card in your hand, eh, it's kind of weird. But this is in case your opponent summons a mega clops or something. 
just shadow schism summon this send the third graveyard that's it that's just it uh and dex red lane one starving venom dragon uh this is future uh super poly target obviously all of this except probably this is super poly targets but yeah you kind of get the point next for links we're playing one uh artemis okay artemis kind of just summon you summon a shadow monster you really don't want to do it but if you have to summon a shadow monster just link it away summon your uh artemis and just fusion summon your construct and that's it so it's kind of two card construct if you want to see it like that so yeah next for combos we have one cross sheep way too broken combo that's it uh one ip must karina uh make sure abramax that's the main monster on the on the board the beefy boy uh that cannot be destroyed by a battle sorry by card effects and playing one board sword one phoenix and the one fat boy abramax that's basically it <laughs> that's the entire deck profile same thing as always i only just kind of play with certain cards <sighs> oh my god i'm sorry sorry man sorry uh i just tweak some cards here and there and that's it so yeah this is the deck profile I could do some test hands to be honest, but I have to power shuffle and I'm tired as heck from recording all the other deck profiles. So yeah, if you want to see a test hand or something, I could do it. Obviously, you can break. The only bad thing that has happened to me is just breaking with multiple fusion spells or just not having the combination between the monsters and the fusion spells. So yeah, that's kind of the only thing that bugs me. Uh, but yeah, anyways guys, thank you for watching like I always say the deck profile will be in the description below like the video If you have if you found this video helpful using my deck profile as a reference everybody has his own way of playing the deck and Yeah, anyways guys, thank you for watching